Hey leaders, this week we are back at the West Campus of the Beulah for an Illuminate night with junior high and senior high. This means we provide you with dinner and some preparation for this next upcoming series in youth ministry. So we'll see you at the West Campus at 5.30. Now I read a great post on leadership today from a Canadian pastor who leads a church called Connexus North of Toronto. His name is Kerry Newhoff. The title of the post is 21 Things All Great Leaders Do. You can read the whole post, the link provided in the email. Sometimes when I read posts like these, I go through and skim the headlines and, and then say to myself, yes, I need to do that, and then do nothing about them. Well, I thought what I would like to do over the next seven weeks is have us unpack these things three at a time. And so we're going to slow them down so we can try and apply them in our own leadership in, in life and, and in youth. At a slower pace, it might allow us to process better, and I'd love to hear some of the feedback on these. So if you want to hit me back an email or a text, uh, you can do that and let me know kind of what your thoughts are and what you're thinking. That'd be great. So today, we're going to look at number four, bring clarity, number seven, show up on time, and number 19, call people by name. So let's dig right in. Great leaders, first of all, bring clarity. Kerry says, if you can't say it clearly in 30 seconds, you probably don't understand it. One of our key leadership functions in our youth ministry is to bring clarity. As devotional leaders, you communicate your devos so that the truth of scripture is clear in the context and mind of teenagers. As small group leaders, you also do the same. Uh, you, you personalize it for your small group. Be thinking this week how you can better make things clear for those that you lead. Also, next one, show up on time. And Carrie would add, show up prepared. This is true for us, whether we're at the house or at West Campus, it's important to show up on time and prepared. Often we have students show up a few minutes early and it would be great to have leaders there to make them feel welcome. It speaks value to students when you show up on time. It also speaks value and is way more effective when leaders have kind of read through the curriculum, the material, and they show up and have prayed the night before. Take the time, even 15 minutes to prepare, the, the day before or a few days before. If you are thinking about the topic and, and small group before, you'll be ready to lead well. Third, call people by name. This one is pretty much a no-brainer in our youth ministry uh, as we do groups, but it's especially important for new students. People who lead well take the time to know people's names. Hopefully you know all the students in, in your small group. Get to know the, know the names of the people in your house as well. If you don't know someone's name, it's way better to say, hey, what's your name? Uh, or instead of saying that, instead of saying, hey buddy, or hey you, ask them their name. Students can see right through in a millisecond if you don't know their name and it speaks value if you do. And they will buy into your leadership way quicker if they feel they're acknowledged by you. So there are three things great leaders do from the list of 21. Which one of these three this week are you going to work on? Pick one and work on that. If you've read this email or watched this video and you can just send me a quick email or text to let me know you've, you've done that by saying, this is the one I'm going to work on. Send me a message, message either saying, bring clarity, or show up on time, or call people by name, and I'll know you've read it. Thanks for re reading or watching this. We'll see you tomorrow at the West Campus. <laughs>